I are clever. Hey guys, welcome back. More Settlers Saturday here. Um, episode 4, I think. Um, if you remember the last episodes, we just completed level 1 of the Quest of the Amazons campaign. Uh, so now we're moving on to level 2. Yeah, so I'll shut up a little bit and I'll, um, I'll let the game play the introduction for you. Her home island pacified, Penticillea led the Amazon charge. I beseeched Kinkura to hold the troops in check and leave my old friends alone, but she lifted not a finger on their behalf. On a Roman island, a vanguard had already deposited building materials and tools at two locations, so Jupiter would be the next to feel their sting. It was clear Penticillea aimed to raise a new settlement and run the Romans off the island for good. While Jupiter was consoling Horus at the Gorgons, the Amazons launched their attack. Okay, so um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've played this level before and I tried to record it, but this guy completely wiped me out. Um, I was getting okay. It's, um, I was doing quite well, and then he just came in with a crazy army and just took me out. So I'm going to give it another shot. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit more prepared this time. Looking at the tips and tricks here, you can see as well on the map I've got two bases, Z1 and Z2, which is strange. It's, uh, it threw me off a little bit to start with, and um, there's tools scattered outside the base that you need to capture, which is uh, a bit of a pain. Um, and the game goes a little bit slow to start with. We've got the Romans up here, and I think they've got quite a lot of their structures already built for them, so they're, they're already quite far ahead. Um, yeah, it's saying get your soldiers from the small island to the mainland as quickly as possible, and then build up a colony as quickly as you can. Which is, these guys are pretty badass, so um, I got to the point where I was just building. Um, like a weaponsmith and then he attacked me so I'm gonna try and be on it this time and yeah this confused me a little bit to start with his, his troops are in both my bases um, but I think what that is is it's just for the computer AI to know where my bases are if you know what I mean um, it'd probably send a spy down and see this base and think that's my only one <coughs> So I think it's just for the AI. I, th I mean, it is quite an old game, so that's probably the only way they could do it. Okay, so if you see, I've got no settlers, no barely any troops as well. Um, though I've got these four ships here, three pioneers, and one with soldiers in. Okay. I'm going to send these transport ships down and there's kind of like, there's a river um, separating these two so they can't actually be joined up which is a little bit of a pain <coughs> um, so I'm going to send one am I? yeah I'm, I should be sending one group of pioneers to the top base and two pioneers and the soldiers to the bottom base going to unload these here as well because these transport ships are a bit of a nightmare to try and maneuver so I'll just send these people here and it's also going to discover a little bit of the land for me which can't go wrong with that okay um, now it was saying choose one of your bases to build up, which is choose but one of your bases, which is a little bit of strange wording, I think. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it means by that, because I could probably build them both up. What I think I'll do is uh, I'm going to crush this guard tower, so we can only attack these, so I can definitely defend these as best, of I, as best I can and not have to worry about him attacking this tower up here. Uh, I'm going to send some of these troops to just uh, just explore the land a little bit. Uh, 
and now there were some like I say there's there's barely anything and it did throw me off there's building materials but there's no spades there's no hammers there's no axes and things like that so I was thinking how the hell am I supposed to you know where am I supposed to start um, but I had a little explore with my troops and it looks like um, yeah there's, there's tools just lying around outside my base which I'm going to have to capture manually which is a little bit of a pain same for this base as well I can't remember exactly where they all were I think it was like this somewhere Yeah, I was going so well. It was uh, I was just getting started. I was just getting ready to be able to properly defend myself and attack this guy and he just came in and wiped me out. <laughs> and there's nothing I could do and I thought, you know what? I could use the footage, but you know, I don't think it's what people want to see. You know, they, you don't want to watch 2 weeks worth of Settlers Saturday just for me to get wiped out and have to start again. So, uh, yeah, I deleted that footage and we're starting again. But it does give me a little bit of a uh, a little bit of an understanding about what's going on. Okay, so now these pioneers have arrived. I'm going to send a few to capture these hammers, um, and the rest to capture these spades, and we'll get started from there. I think I was. I'll just build a small residence to start off with in both of these bases. Looks like I've got enough. I had enough materials to build a residence and just get myself started. Um, yeah, just get myself started with things like the, the woodcutter's hut and a sawmill. And a stone cutter, so I've definitely got enough materials for these four buildings here. I'm going to put the small residence on a high priority though. Hammers, yeah, there's hammers here. I'll send these pioneers to capture these hammers and the rest to capture these spades. Then we're going to need to think about capturing uh, these pickaxes, these saws, and yeah, there's some axes here as well. Perfect. Um. Okay, so I've got this small residence on high priority. I'm going to place down a woodcutter's hut, a sawmill and a stonecutter's hut just like last time. Or oh, just like the previous base I think these two bases are going to kind of mirror each other. They're going to be very similar um, especially at the start. It'll be interesting to see uh, who builds what and the the differences in in the speed and things like that especially because I've got eight more pioneers here so I've got eight more settlers on this bottom base so it'll be just a little thing uh, a little bit interesting to see what what comes of that so I'm going to turn these pioneers into carriers now that these spades have been captured And probably the same with these pioneers as well. Uh, once I've connected these hammers to my base as well, and straight away you see they've, they've gone to pick up the spades. That's perfect. Um, I'll get these to capture the axes here and hopefully we'll be able to get started straight away it looks like we're already seven minutes in and I haven't built a single building yet so it's, it's strange it's a little bit of a slow start like I said it threw me off a little bit to start with I'm 
Okay. Uh, yeah, looks like it's going really well. I'm going to explore a little bit more with some of these troops. And send some back home as well. Hmm. Nice. Very nice, yeah. Okay, so um, there is a way of speeding things up by a minute. I can press F12 and it will skip a minute in game. Now, for every time you press F12, uh, it skips one minute, so I can spam it 30 times and it will skip 30 minutes, but that's a little bit of a stupid thing to do. Um, but I think, with, especially with the start going so slow, it's probably worth it. It's probably worthwhile to uh, to skip the odd bit. And you see already he's got some spies on me just checking out what I'm doing. Um, I think there's a little bottleneck for this bottom base at least which I'm going to send my troops to. I think it's just around here. There's a bottleneck where any spies or any enemy troops coming in would definitely have to, to pass through there. So I can defend that quite well hopefully. And that's an enemy. That'll be an enemy spy as well. They'll, they'll both be spies. So he's got quite a lot of spies already. And yeah, this is all dug out. It's got all the materials it needs. So we've got some people here becoming uh, builders. Which is perfect. Try and I've got to capture these uh, pickaxes and this um, <laughs> what's it called? This saw as well. Can't forget about that. Anything else I need to capture up here? I've got the there's a scythe there, which is good to know. Um, did I get the axes? We've oh, got the axes there. There's some pickaxes as well. I'll gra grab them. Okay, I just saw just saw a little glimpse. You can see it in the uh, in the mini map. This is the enemy's base here. I just saw a little glimpse of it. And like I was saying, when I played this last time, I um, I noticed this little bottleneck, which is very well done actually. I'm quite um, quite impressed with how they've done this. It's basically there's a river going all the way around here. This is like the mouth of the river, it goes all the way around here and um, there's just this area here where you can pass over and what they've done in um, like the level editors or whatever, what they've done is made these are little rivers so I could get a waterworks and get water from these but it makes it look like a, a kind of marsh um, and that's a nice way of doing it, I, quite, um, I think that's quite a nice thing, quite a nice detail. Like technically they could have just had it as land and be done with it, but no, they haven't done that. Um, and similar to other things, like similar to the pioneers and geologists as well, you can alt-click with soldiers and um, they'll patrol back and forth between that particular spot. So unless this guy gets mad that I'm patrolling, <laughs> patrolling the soldiers in his base, um, we'll know when anyone's coming. Hopefully, though he might get a little bit annoyed. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to need these pioneers. I wasn't quite sure what was happening, but I don't think I've got enough. Um, I don't have enough settlers here. <laughs> to um, to not utilize these pioneers yeah straight away they've got a job to do instead of just standing around yeah all, all five of them there okay 
so my small residence is built that's perfect I'm going to set up 5% more carriers as well on both bases I think I'm also going to try and find out if there's a little bit of a choke point um, for this top base as well just to be sure if, if I get attacked kind of like an early warning system Yeah, so it's very, very slow progress at the start. Not much I can do about that. So um, I'm not sure if I did press F, uh, F12 earlier and skipped a minute. So I'm going to do it now. Yeah, not much, not much happening. Um, I'm definitely going to get some of these pioneers. I've got all the land I need for now, so I'm going to convert all of these pioneers back to uh, back to settlers. Okay. thinking perhaps I should have built a medium residence instead of a small residence but never mind I might build a medium next medium residence next time once uh, once these systems are up and now these have all got the materials they need so I'm going to build uh, a forester's hut and another woodcutter's hut and probably put the forester's hut on a higher priority um, <laughs> Just in case all these trees get cut down, I've got to wait for the forest to to, to actually plant the trees as well. <coughs> uh, and I'll do the same again up here. It's just going to give. I need to give everyone a job just to be as f efficient as possible, so the diggers now have a job. Uh, and the carriers as well. I'm going to place a, a medium residence in both of these areas. Just because I don't think a small residence was uh, quite enough there. I probably didn't have enough troops anyway. So um, I didn't have enough settlers uh, to when I started the game anyway. So um, I should have probably built a medium straight off the bat uh, I'll put this forester's hut on a high priority as well and I'm going to press F12 again just to skip a minute I need a saw, oops Oh, the saws are all the way out there. I don't have any pioneers as well, that's a bit of a pain. Luckily I've got enough um enough materials to work on this building here. I'll put that as a high priority. That could have got ugly fast, like I say, I haven't got any any spare settlers and I can't make any into pioneers, it won't let me. Um, yeah, that could have got ugly fast. Luckily I do have a little supply that I started with. Okay. And that's probably going to be the same for here, I mean, I've, I had um, an extra boatload of 
pioneer, so I've got eight more people down on this bottom base. I'll put that medium residence on a high priority though, just in case. And I'm pro probably going to need to capture this land here. You see how this, this stone core is cutting slightly outside the base. Um, that's not going to last long. They won't be able to do that for long. So I'll need to capture this space a little bit. I think there's a bit more stone up here as well. But that's okay. Once this medium residence is built, I'll have quite a few people. I'll be able to build some more pioneers. Uh, convert some more pioneers uh, even. And go from there. I'll also be able to get some geologists to pinpoint exactly uh, where the iron ore and coal is. Um, I can't quite remember exactly where it is. I did get I did get to this point when I played earlier, but like I say, I got wiped out, and it's a shame. It's a shame the footage was kind of unusable, but I didn't want to do that to anyone watching. I didn't want to, you know, have two hours like an hour's worth of footage or whatever and then end the game and have to start again um, especially with the videos being once a week you know it's it, that would be a bit of a pain you could watch it for two weeks or whatever and then I'd have to do it again so I decided not to do that but it did give me an insight as to how quickly you need to set up an army so I'm going to probably start an iron smith, um, an iron smelter straight away, and a tool smith. I'll turn five geologists as well. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Probably the same with this once this uh, medium residence has been built. I'll get five, maybe ten pioneers as well. Oops. Just to capture a little land, a bit of land down here. Um, what else? It's going a little bit slow. Unfortunately, but there's not much you can do about that. Uh, yeah, once this is built, they'll obviously come and build this. Still saying there's no free settlers on this top base, so um, it's definitely a good thing that this residence is almost built. And now you can see, yeah, with that residence built, things are speeding up. I like to see that in the settlers game where there's just people walking everywhere and everyone's doing things it's it's uh, it's nice to see i like that it's one of my um favorite little features or quirks of uh, of settlers 3 when you've got a nice uh, economy going and everyone's got something to do and there's there's chains of things happening uh, yeah it's nice to witness that And there's definitely a big patch of stone up here, so I'll go and capture that soon because this little patch down here probably isn't going to last long. That's ten pioneers, just send them this way. I'm going to get five geologists as well just to figure out what's on this island here. I mean, uh, what's on, on this mountain even. Oh, and of course I need a saw. I'll send these pioneers to, to capture that saw. I'm not going to get far without that. Maybe even more pioneers actually. I want to get that saw as soon as possible. Uh, I, I can always convert them back as well. Okay, I'm going to try and capture this mountain. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that to start with. Okay, so it looks like things are going well. Um, 
another toolsmith up here probably and an ironsmith looks like we've got exactly what we need up here iron and coal so it should be alright and the same here get five more pioneers to help capture some of this land and probably while I'm at it I'll um, I'll place down a grain farm because like I always say these take just a little bit of time to get started so it's, uh, it's best to do them as soon as possible what else? Now I've got one extra saw and two extra axes. So I think what I'm going to do is um, get a little bit more um, wood production ability <laughs> uh, down. Probably an extra stone cutter's hut as well. I'll do the same on this side as well. Also a green farm. That's probably start time uh, time to start thinking about another residence since I've got so many pioneers taking so much land. Um Though I can, I'm going to convert all these pioneers back to settlers, so we should be alright for a little bit. But I do want to get a toolsmith built as soon as possible, um, just to speed up every other uh, process that I have. Okay, so I think I'm going to press F12 again, speed it up by a minute and see where we are. Yeah, a little bit of progress. I mean, a minute's not its not that much, especially in the game. I've already had, what, 27 minutes here. So I do make a little bit of progress in one minute, but it's not loads. But I, I do like to use it, um, especially when there's nothing to do. Like I just get, I just start placing buildings, even though I've got a, a load. Of, I've got this whole backlog of buildings already, so it's a good time to use it. I'll probably do it again. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to start planting um, iron ore mine. Maybe two of those. Coal. Two of those as well. I'll put another iron on mine, but no, uh, I'll stop production on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. So these are back to normal people. It's going well. It's not doing too bad. Like I said, it's probably about time to start thinking about another residence. I'm not quite at the stage where I want to build a large residence yet. So I will build a medium residence. Kind of out of the way. Somewhere like that would be perfect. Um, yeah, somewhere like up here. My diggers have nothing to do as well, so it's okay. And I want to start building on this mountain as soon as possible. It's just I don't think I quite have the um, the amount of pioneers to to take this land very fast. So once this land is connected, I'll I'll send the two down there. Possibly convert a few of these people back to pioneer, uh, back to settlers as well, just to try and speed up some building. Uh, 
Okay, um, I guess we're probably quite near the uh, the half hour mark there. I I can see in the timer it's almost uh, 32 minutes, and I think I pressed that speed up thing uh, hmm, once or twice, maybe probably two or three times. Uh, so I guess that'll be it. I'll call the episode here and just you know take off, um, take off again next week. So thanks for watching guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Settlers Saturday.